All right, everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel, My Study. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you a Teachable machine, one of the products, or I would say, one of the web application being created by the Google. So, the interesting thing about this Teachable machines are you do not need to worry about any machine learning coding, but without doing any kind of coding, you can train your model. You can provide your data directly inside the browser to this Google Teachable Machine application and it will automatically do those classification. And this app is completely browser based so all those training, testing happens inside the browser only. And that is dependent on TensorFlow.js library which is a JavaScript based library and there are other libraries which is written on the top of those JavaScript and TensorFlow.js like ML5, P5.js. All right, so I'm just gonna show you one demo for it. And we are gonna use this three step process. Like first one, we require some kind of data and those data we are gonna accept from the our webcam. Now this data we are gonna classify into two different categories. So next thing is we are gonna train on those two class classification model like a binary classification and at the end we'll just export it and test on it. All right, so let me just get started. And here you have to provide a Google credential. All right, so let me create a new projects. So from image projects, let me click on it and you can see I have a Two options are available like a class one and class two let me just disable all those help i don't require this thing now if you want to do multi-class classification problem you can always go ahead so let's say i'm going to start with the class one image data gathering so let me just provide i have one idol available of lord ganesha uh, generally the people in india they consider him as a like a lord so that is a one idol available with me so i'm just gonna uh, put the name for class one let's say idol all right let me press webcam all right so now you can see to collect the data i just have to hold here and it will just start collecting the data now i have this particular idol so i'm just holding this particular idol and that we are going to consider it as a class one or i would say idol class so let me just hold it and gather some data here and you can see we gather enough data all right all right let me just put it here all right so almost 105 image i have gathered it let me just take uh, one more class data so that will be a class 2 data and i have one more thing like uh, let's say i have uh, my passport so what i'm gonna do for class 2 I'm going to give the name like a passport. Yeah, it has to be passport. Let me enable the webcam for the class two. And here also I'm going to let me hold it and you can see. Yeah, yeah, sufficient image, I guess. So that is like a data collection for the class two. And I'm just going to add one more class and that will be, let's say, I have a one mini routers are available with me. So I'm just going to give the name router. Let me provide the data with a webcam. And you can see this is like a router. So it will be a router. Yeah. So almost uh, 62 image we have collected and that's uh, I guess more than sufficient. So that is like a three class classification problem we are going to solve inside the browser and there are three class data I have collected. So one is for the idol, second one is for the my passport and a third one will be my router image. Now you can see in all three cases, there are many place the data remains same or I would say the majority of person of this image remains same. It is the ability of this neural network or any machine learning algorithm they are implementing inside this browser. It is their ability to identify individual image based on such a small portion of data. All right. So data collection has been finished. Next thing is uh, we need to train on this data. So on advanced, there are a number of options are available. I'm not going to touch on any option as of now. 
let me just train upon it so training will take little amount of time so you can see it just preparing training data i guess it has started this training yeah so training almost started yeah training got over all right so next thing is uh, we can do exporting model now i'm going to show you with some example like uh, idol so let me just put the idol in front of this one and you can see almost 100 percent it's a uh, idol so that's a great accuracy we have achieved with just 50 around image or i would say 100 100 image per class i have taken let me take my passport and i want to show whether it is able to identify it or not yeah with quite good 100 percent accuracy if i just go back little bit yeah so little bit it's decreasing but almost clear majority of time almost with high accuracy it has detected let me just show you with my router also so with router also with 100 percent near more than even 98 percentage of accuracy it is able to identify those things so that is the beauty here that immediately in a very easy fashion we have collected all those data set and of uh, three different classes now apart from this training testing one more thing i want to show you that is an exporting model so if you just click on export model you'll be able to export this model into three different libraries so one is for the tensorflow js then we have for the TensorFlow. So if you are going to use the same model with this same data set for your real webcam or real some web application or any mobile based uh, application, you can just directly export this model and you can always use it. So that is the beauty. They have given a very nice snippet of JavaScript code and even p5.js code also. You can download exactly the same model you can get exactly a Keras version of this model and you can download the Keras version of those model. Plus they have even given the Keras code also. So that's a very beautiful stuff they have given us. So all those inference, you can easily do it. All right, so that is how easily you can do it. This kind of classification task directly inside the browser without writing any single line of code. And that's what I want to show you that easily you can do it now you can even provide your data as a file also you can just grab the data while inferencing from the webcam now that is not the only thing let me go to this teachable machine back on some other tab you just cannot uh, only do this classification with this image data but you can always do with uh, some other kinds of let's say audio data also that is might be possible yeah sound data is also possible you can do this kind of pause detection also so with different pause position you can stand and that will try to differentiate it you can always refer to this particular uh, website they have given some nice demo here you can see this girl i mean they are trying to identify or differentiate between this me dog or just me so like a binary classification two class classification she is trying to detect with the neural network model all right so that's the basic three steps first one is gather data next one is after gathering data train your model next one either you export your model for the, your next level application either web application mobile application or you can just directly use that model inside the same browser for the inferencing all right so i hope you enjoy listening this video and see you into the next video with some more cool stuff related to python data science and machine learning so till that time please leave a comment like this video and subscribe my channel see you into next video